But yeah, south of Moab actually has a lot of trails. People always seem to go hit the, the same old stuff with names. You know, like Slick Rock, Steelbender, Porcupine, <laughs> you know, Fins and Things, King Creek, Pritchett. But there's, there's a lot of stuff out here, actually. A lot of stuff that's just not busy. Except for those people that just know there's there's so much more to Moab than all the, the trails with catchy names to get you to ride them and see them. So, yeah, definitely uh, expand your horizons when you come out to Moab and check out some of this other stuff. It's fun, it's scenic, and it's just not as as it explored, you know, people just don't talk about it, and I'm, with technology, you gotta love it, I can bring this to you, that, hey, you know, look, and it's not, this isn't overly hard, I think, I think a lot of people should be able to, uh, come through here, and, you know, you have, like, a little technical spot like that, and then it's a little smoother, these rocks are not, you know, too bad. They're small enough. It's just a lot of vibration, but yeah, they're just not too bad. Just dodge the big loose one. Yeah, so we got in pretty late last last night. That extra hundred miles. We did like 280, I think Richard said. This is already probably harder than yesterday's for the actual rim rocker section. Which there was a, a few few rough spots, a few bumpy sections. But I would say even with some of the little technical spots, this isn't too bad. It's not overly bumpy. Okay, I got us going to right. And the tracks I'm reading, I did a combination. I used Topo Fusion, which is the program I like. But they just, that guy just uh, takes from the uh, free aerial view. So it's like pretty old satellite imagery. I mean, it's not really old, but in terms of technology, it's, it's old. In terms of Google satellite stuff, that's like done every few years. Yeah, it's ancient, <laughs> and, um, take a breather there, <laughs> it, it's, it, it's pretty old, but I use that, but then I'll switch over to Google, and I'll go ahead and uh, find why I'm at, and go back and forth on the screens, flip back and forth on the various programs and match it up and zoom in and get a better idea are there gates because a lot of times you'll you can see fence lines and gates if you know what to look for on the imagery <laughs> and yeah, just see if it's open how worn does it look compared to other stuff um you know i could tell that this was really worn so uh, I, I, I could actually tell that, you know, people do come back here. Now, it's, it's hard when you get up into wooded areas, like the wolf house, because tree cover might obscure the uh, trail and spot. But if you know what you're looking for, you can usually find the connection, and, and, and it's a little more risky, I mean, there could be something there, but you just have to learn how to read the topography and what you're looking at. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna ever say I haven't made a mistake on it, but usually my routes come out pretty good. People give me compliments when we do rides. So, you know, for the most part it works out, but you, you definitely have to go, if you're with me, you definitely, it's more of an exploration. We might be backtracking. So, like, we filled up with fuel. And honestly, like, let's say this alternate, I'm pretty sure it does not have an issue connecting south. But well, let's say it did. We we get 20 miles in. Well, that might be our 40 mile oops of the day where we're not going to hit any other alternates. But um, this is probably one of the longer ones that does not have necessarily a lot going south. So there's more going closer to uh, the mountain range there, the LaSalle, but uh, you can tell there's snow, so at some point there would be snow in those, and possibly in the single track, and the drifts, and yeah, you know, I don't want to get too close, so this was the lower, you could go further in and, and cut south, but you risk uh, the, the weather issue, and I was trying to keep this fairly south for this time of the year for our initial alternate rim rocker, you know, plated bike adventure. So this, this for GS, there'd be spots. You definitely would want to be experienced. And really, if you're doing a, like a day trip like we are, you wouldn't really, really need to be loaded down with your luggage unless you're camping. If you're just going to motel it and go back or whatever, you know, you're making this the trip, the loop, because you're, you're from Colorado, you're from Utah, you know, you come out here anyways, so, you know, this is just a fun, like, short weekend, oh, that looks fun, oh, they're behind me, I was gonna say, well, I haven't been going so quick, seeing as I'm trying to chat, But yeah, guys, you know, I, I appreciate, although I don't do YouTube for the money, I do appreciate you guys watching, making helpful comments, and, um, you know, just watching the videos, and, you know, the little bit, the little bit of money, whoa, oh, no, we're good. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Now this is, uh, I was going to end the video right there, but let's, let's continue and I'll just chat a little longer. So, you know, th thanks for watching the video, thanks for, um, you know, support, and the little bit of money that I do bring in, which is just really small, you know, does, does help on the daycare side of things, and yeah, it's just a little, little extra that, when I do this, you know, it's like 70 bucks a day just to do drop-in at kinder care. And, um, this, this helps out. Your, your, your views, stuff, a little bit of revenue from YouTube do, does help out a little bit. And, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not making, making anything <laughs> out of it. And I would still do the trips anyways, but to let you know, it does go, go, does go towards a good cause, and I don't know how much we're supposed to talk about whole YouTube. I don't know why they make it a secret. It's like you can figure it out <laughs> real, real easy if you just have your channel monetized. And th that's that's our tip. For a long time, I didn't monetize my stuff. But think about it. then YouTube's just bringing in all that money right towards themselves because they're still putting fucking ads on stuff. They're still you know, making revenue, so if you meet the requirements, monetize your your channel, monetize the stuff, because um, you might as well bring in the uh, small amount that they give you just, uh, just to do it. I mean, yeah, for years I just did non-monetize. I didn't even put in really search terms or anything. So I had to go back through a lot of old videos and, and, and just add stuff because really 
there, some of them just had nothing, like no searchable term at all in the keywords. It was just like, because I, I was just sharing my video with family, friends, just for myself. And I still do this just for my, whoa, don't want to go over there. That's what happens when you're talking and riding. Well, who'd go around that rock? I, I mean, we always did this just for family. So if something happened to me, it's kind of like a little legacy. And, and sorry to the guys that you know, are like, wow, you put a lot of other content on your channel. Yeah, I just don't really want to make a whole a bunch of channels for various content and manage 20 different things. Like... Let's make sure these guys are okay. Richard has my luggage due to the meltdown. No, oh, he's doing good. Thumbs up. So these are the type of trails that you get into when you're with me. <laughs> and would I do this if I got the African twin? Yeah, yeah yes. <laughs> That wouldn't stop me. I mean, I wouldn't make it the norm. That's not what the bike's designed for, but... I, w I would still... Okay, where do we need to go? No. I think down there. Do do do. Maybe it is. No, I don't Yeah, that's too far. I think it's up that. But yeah, now I'm in a I'm in a pickle. Yeah, go that way. So now I can talk again there. <laughs> um, yeah, so what I was getting at when I was going to end the video, you know, guys, thanks for watching, supporting. Check out my Facebook page. Check out, I do have a Twitter account and Instagram and all that, but I mainly use Facebook, and obviously subscribe to my YouTube channel, as I enjoy the comments that you give, and that I can share these type of trails with you all, so you guys have a good day, because I know I am, I'm sure my next video will be still on one of these trails. So, thanks guys.